Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel and in this episode, episode 70, I'm going to be answering a simple question. What is a disease? And I know what you're thinking, everybody knows what a disease is. But since this is interactive biology, we're going to look at it from a biological perspective. So let's get right into it. A disease is an abnormal condition that affects the body of an organism. Okay, what's an organism? An organism is a living thing. And when we're talking about pathology or pathophysiology, we're talking about human beings. So we're talking about an abnormal condition that affects the body of a human being. A disease is usually associated with a number of symptoms or signs. But what does this all really mean? Okay, so we have an abnormal condition affecting the body. But what is the body? I know what you're thinking. The body of a human being is made up of organ systems. So we have the circulatory system, we have the muscular system, the skeletal system, the urinary system, all of these different systems that come together to form a human being. But what are these systems? I know what you're thinking now. You're thinking these organ systems are made up of organs, and you're right. For example, the circulatory system is made up of the heart and the blood vessels, and all these things come together to form the circulatory system. But what is an organ? I know what you're thinking because you're smart. An organ is made up of tissues. All right, so we have it down to the tissue level. But what is a tissue? Finally, you're there. A tissue is made up of cells. All living things, human or dog or cat or wolf, whatever it is, all living things are made up of cells. So if we have an abnormal condition that affects an organism, that's because we have something that's affecting one or more of the organ systems. And then of course, it's affecting one or more of the organs, one or more of the tissues, and one or more of the different cell types. So in essence, what we're saying is, if we have a disease, we have an abnormal cellular structure and or function. There is something wrong at the cellular level that's causing this thing to be manifested on the level of the organism. Now there are many different types of diseases, but I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna make it much more simple. All of these diseases can be attributed to one of five causes. Doesn't that sound simple? If we know these five causes, we can explain to some level every single disease that's out there. What are those five causes? That's what we're gonna talk about in the next episode. That's all for this episode. Once again, I wanna invite you to come back to the website at interactive-biology.com where you're gonna find more videos just like this and many other resources to help make biology fun. By the way, what do you think about this new video format? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.